I had the most amazing childhood ever. We lived on a ranch and I had permission to ride any horse on that ranch anytime I wanted for as long as I wanted. And I got to not only ride it around in the ring, I got to ride it anywhere on the property and anywhere I could hear the horn honk from. In the desert, that's a long way. And I associated growing up horses with freedom and enjoyment and relationship with the horse. And, and it was everything in my life. So when my folks would take me to an amusement park that would have a merry-go-round or a place where there was a horse that you would put the diamond in front of the drugstore so you could ride it, I wanted to ride it and I would because it was a horse, but I always dreamed of it being able to leave that space where it was tied down and take on life and be abundantly, amazingly fun. And I would dream of it and then I saw it on Mary Poppins once. They went and they were on these merry-go-rounds and the horses take off, but they didn't come to life. They stayed painted horses, not real living, breathing ones. Some of us live repentance like those painted horses. We've talked a lot how repentance is about making a turnaround in your life. It's a U-turn. You were headed your way and you're going to turn around and you're going to head God's way. And that's exactly what it is. The problem is many of us are just as good about repenting again, about going toward God as we were going against God. So what happens is we repent and we turn toward God and then we repent again and we turn back to our own way and then we repent again and we turn back toward God and we repent again. You see the merry-go-round starting to go around and we become not full of life at all, but like those painted horses that are never free. There was a fashion designer who said, sometimes you have to get off of the merry-go-round and choose to ride the roller coaster instead. That's exactly what Lent is about. It's about getting off the merry-go-round and having that painted on idea of Christianity and instead being full of that abundant life that Jesus promises those who follow him. Being filled with the Holy Spirit and not ever wanting to turn back from that. And so your life won't be plain and boring and you still have all of your independence. You just choose to follow life instead of what's locking you down. When you do that, your life is gonna have ups and downs like a roller coaster but you will be free to live out everything God called and gifted and created you to be. And you'll no longer be just a painted version of yourself. That's my encouragement to you this week. Truly, during this Lent, repent, believe the good news, and follow Jesus with all of your heart to that abundant life he's calling you to live.